so it can be really tough shooting virtual reality video because it's incredibly difficult to convey what people are actually seeing inside a virtual world. Um, but recently, HTC and Valve have been coming up with a system that actually lets you composite a real person into a virtual reality world. So we're gonna take a look at how they do it, and we're gonna show you how you could do it if you wanted to try it. The first thing that you need for this is a green screen, which you'd need for any kind of cutout of a person. It has to keep the lighting even, and it has to create a flat background that you'll be able to use to overlay this person. The next thing you have to do is create a camera that captures both the virtual and the real world. So you take a third Vive controller and you strap it on top of a camera, and then the tricky part is making sure that you're actually capturing exactly the same view inside the Vive and outside it. The good news is that once you do that, they'll both stick together so you can move the camera anywhere you want. Then it's time to put it all together. You take a tool that works with any Unity or Unreal game and you composite all of these layers. You take the background of the game, the person on the green screen, and then any weapons or effects that should go in front of them. And you turn it all into one flat video. For right now, HTC just wants developers to use this to show people how cool their games are. But in the long run, you could see it being used for streamers, for arcades, and frankly, we could use it. And it would let us stop just describing things to you every time we make a video. Just to recap, if you want to do it yourself, here's what you need. A green screen, some lights, a third Vive controller, a camera, a Vive system, some video editing know-how, and a lot of patience.